yeah, very, very good afternoon from here. I thank the Lord Jesus Christ for today. Um, quite all right. Um, I didn't know, first of all, that today was the Resurrection Day. You know, most times I'm not um, conversant with calendars or events sometimes. So I didn't know that today was the Resurrection Day actually, but um, I was, I found out that I couldn't sleep in the night as, you know, I was awake, you know, so I didn't know that, that today was the day that my Lord was resurrected. So um, I think that um, it's very good to celebrate the Resurrection Day, fine, but it is also good to make it to become a reality in your life. That you and me will be resurrected from every type of sin you know like the bible says that we are buried in christ through baptism that is in romans chapter 6 so that we will be resurrected with him in the, i mean so that as christ was raised up from the dead in the newness of life so we ourselves should be raised from the dead so this resurrection day to resurrect the, the life of Christ in your life. You should showcase the life of Christ in your life. Some people use this resurrection day to go and drink alcohol, fornicate, have pleasure. It, it shows that you've not resurrected. Maybe you are still in the tomb. You are still in the tomb of sin. Because Jesus says that he that loves pleasure, why he or she is still alive. He's already dead. Why he lives? So you and me should. Be, it's not that God. It's not that God does not give us pleasure. God gives us pleasurable things, but He gives us pleasurable things and and sets boundaries in it, so that when so that you and me would not go after our passions and leave the Lord. So. Um, this resurrection should mean something to you. It, 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 should, it should show that Christ have, have been resurrected. I mean that something of Jesus is now resurrected, is now resurrected in you. Like if you had a time that lie, there's supposed to be a newness of life. You now speak the truth. If you had a time that love that works and lost, there needs to be a change, a change in our life. This resurrection day is not all about celebration of eating and drinking. It's all about having a total change, a total change in the Lord, you know. So, um, you you need to uh, ask the Lord to change you. That as today is His resurrection day, that there will be a resurrection in your life. So that's why when you look into your life as a Christian, I'm not. I'm. I'm I mean, and, and you look into your life and see that you're a Christian by name, but. There are some areas in your life that you will not become like Christ. It is a good thing for you and me to level, to become more like Him. Like I myself, I'm not saying that I'm totally like Christ because it's still, it, I'm, I'm in the process. So, but every day of my life, the Lord shows me where I'm not like Him. And it makes me to mourn and it makes me to grieve and it makes me to keep on beholding Him that I will be conformed and transformed to His image. So, what I'm trying to say is this, is that let this resurrection day not be a day of eating and drinking only for you but let it be a day of newness of life let it be a day of total change in your life even if you don't have the newness of life in you and you hunger for it you can ask the lord the lord said ask and you receive he says seek and you shall find so when you ask the lord say lord please make this resurrection day to become a reality in my life the lord will do it because he said that he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask for think. So that is it. So may the Lord bless you today. I don't have much to say, but I'm just trying to tell you that today is the resurrection day of the Lord. So as the Lord resurrected from the dead, so you and me are to resurrect from sin. Because sin brings death. So sin, any man that is a sin is already dead, right? So oh, oh, though you can be living, but you're already dead. Jesus said, in John 8, 51, he said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that keeps my saying, he said, he shall never taste of death. So, it's not meaning physical dying. It, it means of losing the presence of God. Any man or woman that is not in the presence, I mean, that, that lost the presence of God, 
have already died. I mean, the 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 the, the death the, the death syndrome have already been initiated. So death does not just come just for second. You know that all of us will not die. All of us will surely die. That's a must. So, but the, the, there is a death that God is talking about. This death is is a death whereby you now lose God. You are no more with the Lord anymore. So, Jesus rose up from the dead that you and me will, will be risen from the dead. Second Corinthians chapter 5, from verse 16, says that for the love of Christ constrains us that if one died for all, then we are all dead. He said, and, and he died for all that they which be should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died and gave himself for them. He said, then if any man be in Christ, all things are passed away, thereby all things are becoming new. So there needs to be a newness. This newness is a change. So strive to have it from this resurrection day. May the Lord bless you all and keep you in Jesus' name. Amen.